selecting moderators for a debate forum is crucial for maintaining fairness and ensuring impartiality. Here are some guidelines and rules for selecting moderators to ensure they are unbiased, competent, and effective. 1. Neutrality and impartiality. No affiliations. Moderators should have no direct ties, affiliations, or vested interests with any participants or the subject of debate. This avoids potential bias or conflicts of interest. Diverse perspectives. Select moderators from diverse backgrounds who can understand and respect multiple viewpoints, ensuring they remain neutral during the debate. 2. Experience and knowledge. Understanding of the topic. Moderators should have a basic understanding of the debate topic to ask informed, relevant questions and to guide the discussion properly. Experience in moderation. Prior experience in moderating debates or discussions should be preferred. Look for individuals who have a track record of fairness, strong communication skills, and the ability to manage conflicts. 3. Nonpartisan selection process. Selection by an impartial committee. Establish a committee composed of neutral individuals to oversee the selection of moderators. This committee should not include people with strong affiliations to any side of the debate. Equal input from both sides. If there are clear opposing parties or viewpoints in the debate, each side should be allowed input into the selection process, ensuring the moderator is agreeable to both. 4. Clear criteria for selection. Transparent criteria. The criteria for selecting moderators should be transparent and known to all participants. Some key criteria could include proven ability to remain impartial, strong communication skills, knowledge of the subject area, if necessary, prior moderation experience, ability to handle tense situations or conflicts fairly, publicly available profiles. Consider publishing the moderator's professional profiles and qualifications to foster trust in their impartiality. 5. Training and Guidelines Training on Fairness Provide training for selected moderators on debate ethics, neutrality, and how to handle challenging situations, including managing conflicts, interruptions, or emotional outbursts. Clear Guidelines for Moderation Create a written set of guidelines on what the moderator's role is e.g. asking neutral questions, enforcing time limits, and ensuring equal participation. They should agree to follow these rules consistently. 6. Rotation System Rotate moderators. For recurring debates, use a rotation system to avoid reliance on a single moderator. This reduces the risk of bias or accusations of favoritism over time. 7. Pre-debate screening Declaration of bias. Moderators should be required to declare any potential biases or conflicts of interest before being selected. If a potential bias is found, they should be replaced. Pre-debate interview or test. Candidates for moderator positions could undergo an interview or mock debate moderation to assess their impartiality, ability to manage time, and understanding of non-leading questions. 8. Accountability. Post-debate evaluation. After each debate, there should be a system for participants and the audience to provide feedback on the moderator's performance. If multiple complaints or issues arise, steps can be taken to review the moderator's future involvement. Review and removal mechanism. Have a clear process for removing moderators who show bias or fail to maintain neutrality, ensuring fairness is upheld throughout all debates. 9. Diversity of moderators. Gender cultural, and ideological balance. To reduce inherent biases, consider selecting moderators from diverse backgrounds in terms of gender, culture, and ideology, ensuring they collectively represent a broad spectrum of perspectives. By following these rules, you can ensure that the moderators in your debate forum are selected fairly, contribute to balanced discussions, and uphold the forum's commitment to impartiality and fairness. For moderators, ensuring a fair and unbiased debate requires adherence to certain guidelines, particularly when framing and asking questions. Here are specific rules for moderators to follow, especially regarding non-leading and neutral questioning. Moderator rules for questioning. 1. Neutral questions. Moderators must frame questions neutrally, without implying a particular answer or bias. Avoid questions that suggest what the correct response should be. Example of a leading question. 
Don't you think that X policy is the best solution? Non-leading version. What are your views on X policy as a solution? Two, fact-based questions. Questions should be grounded in verifiable facts, avoiding speculation. Moderators should research topics beforehand to ensure their questions are well-informed and objective. Three, open-ended questions. Encourage open-ended questions that allow participants to express their views fully rather than simply agreeing or disagreeing. Example, can you explain your perspective on the potential impact of this policy? Four, balanced coverage. Ensure that questions are evenly distributed among all participants and that both sides of the debate are given equally challenging questions. Five, avoid loaded questions. Refrain from asking questions that carry an assumption or bias that could undermine one side of the argument. Loaded question, why do you think your policy hasn't worked in the past? Unbiased version, what do you think could improve the success of this policy? Six, clarifying, not challenging. Moderators should ask questions to clarify a participant's point, not to challenge or debate them directly. Their role is to facilitate, not engage in the debate. Clarification example. Can you elaborate on how your approach would address this issue? Seven, equal opportunity for response. After asking a question to one side, allow the opposing side to respond or offer their perspective on the same issue to ensure balance. Eight, avoid hypotheticals with implied outcomes. If using hypothetical scenarios, avoid framing them with an outcome that might favor one side. Leading hypothetical. If X policy fails, what's your backup plan? Non-leading hypothetical. How do you envision the outcomes of X policy? Nine, timely interventions. Moderators can intervene to steer the debate back to the topic, but should avoid using these opportunities to subtly introduce their own bias. Neutral phrases like, let's focus on the question at hand, should be used. 10. Impartial body language and tone. While not directly related to questioning, moderators should maintain a neutral tone and body language when interacting with participants to avoid signaling bias. These rules for moderators ensure that they facilitate the debate fairly and create an environment where both sides feel equally represented.